So today I bought some oranges and I peeled them off so that I can take out their juice. Dong 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 ding, ding 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 Wow! My orange juice was ready. <laughs> what should I do next? So I decided to extract limonene from these peels. So for that, I cut the peels into small pieces. <laughs> After chopping the peels, I transferred them into a 500 ml round bottom flask. Dong 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 ding, da da dong ding ding 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 ding, da da dong ding ding. So only half of the peels came inside my round bottom flask. So I kept these peels aside and added some water inside the flask. Then I set the apparatus for steam distillation. Dong 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 ding, da da dong ding ding ding, da da dong ding ding. Hehehe. Dong 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 ding, da da dong ding ding 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 ding. Even after collecting more than 100 ml of distillate, I could not see any oily layer on water. What did I do wrong? What should I do now? So I transferred the leftover peels into my blender and then I blended them using some distillate that came in the previous run and made a paste out of it. <laughs> Then I transferred this paste into my 500 ml round bottom flask. Then I added some more water inside the flask and set the apparatus for steam distillation. On swirling the flask, I could see the formation of some oil drops. After collecting 80 ml of distillate, on swirling the flask, you can see that there is an oily layer on top of it. Wow! Then this solution was poured into a separatory funnel to separate the oily layer from the lower aqueous layer. Dong 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 ding, da da dong ding ding ding. Then this limonene was collected in a small vial. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, please write down in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you like my work, you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.